So it's a nice sunny morning here at Changi Exhibition Centre and what I have with me today is the all new BYD SEAL. So today we're going to pit this car against some serious competition. Now for the challenge, a classic drag race between the BYD and some of the big boys. Okay, they're going to challenge us with the SEAL. Which car should we take up the challenge with? I'll take them on with the Taycan. Okay, let's do it. Okay guys, let's set up like that. Okay, three, two, one, go! Yeah! Let's go! Uh, I think we need to rerun my launch control wasn't activated. I don't even have launch control! <laughs> no, we won! We won! BID won this, this round! <laughs> Three, two, one, go! So far, the BYD is unbeatable. So, we're 2 of 2 right now. Let's see what we're gonna get next. Three, two, one, go! Ah, bit of a slow start there, but yes! BYD wins! So, we just beat our third car. We are now 3 for 3. So far, BYD has been awesome. Uh, there is a little bit of lag uh, for the start. It doesn't just launch me as instantaneously as I would want to so there is a little bit of disadvantage there but so far we are lucky that the competitors are not that quick but it's going to become harder and harder so we're gonna have a Mira, we're gonna have a GT4 and the boss which is the Kurokan Okay here we go we are going to use the GR against the BYD seal Next up I think I lost that one. No! Oh man, but it's all good. It's a GTR, it's a supercar. This is just a normal car, so... <laughs> Not bad, on pal. Did you win, Roy? You won, right? Yeah, obviously I win, I'm a 3.8, man. Yes, your JDM supercar. Is it uh, tuned, is modded, right, your GTR? Nope, it's fully stock. Yeah, that was a nice race. First time uh, losing, but it's okay, because I wouldn't mind losing to a GTR. And it was very close anyway. Next Am up. Ready? Amira. Yes, BYD ready. Three, two, one, go! Yes! Oh my god! Can we do it? Yes! We can! I had a bad start, but um, we won. So far, the score is 4 to 1. Three, two, one. Shit, that car is fast, man. We won the GT4. <laughs> Next up would be the Huracan, the last one. Uh, this is where I need everything from this to win, to have a chance to win. Now we have the Lamborghini Huracan LP582. It's a rear wheel drive, might not have the best traction for launch, but it's a 5.2 liter V10. 
All right, the final contender today for our drag race would be the Lamborghini Huracan. Uh, and I can see Roy driving it. So Roy, if you guys don't know, he's a racing driver. Not- Hey, ready, ready, Lambo ready. <laughs> okay. Yes, Lambo is all ready. BYD is good to go. Nice win. Nice win, Roy. And the car sounds really good. Yes, the 5.2 versus your batteries. Close one though. Pretty close, pretty close. A little bit faster than the GTR this time, your Huracan. Yep, so the Huracan is slightly faster than the GTR. And it's also slightly faster than the SEAL. It's an amazing performance for electric all-wheel drive. So, the drag race is completed and we're gonna set up a track now to, to actually take the BYD around and, and test it. Alright, so now I'm on the track uh, in CEC. It is no Serpang or no Nürburgring, but it allows me to have a good feel of the car through some of the nice sweeping corners and some of the tight turns. So the BYD CU is the first car in the BYD lineup that uses the cell-to-body technology. It is supposed to increase safety, driving dynamics, and space utilization. And I must say that on a track setting like this, you really feel just how um, stable the car is, and the torsional rigidity that has been worked on in this car, you really view it as a driver as you take it through some of these turns. The suspension is rather soft because it is not tuned to be a track car, it is tuned to be a comfortable sedan. But still, you know, just taking through these turns, it, uh, it handles very well, it's very sharp, it talks to the driver. So this particular unit that I've been driving all day is the top of the line, all-wheel drive performance variant. And so it has one electric motor for the front and one electric motor for the back, which actually allows this car to go from zero to 100 in 3.8 seconds. Now that is not record breaking quick, but it is definitely quick enough for just being a normal sedan. So it was very nice to take the BYD CU out on the track setting and push it to its limit, but where it's most at home is on public roads like these. So this is obviously what BYD has intended the car to be, an everyday commuter car. Uh, but I have to say that like it feels a lot more plush than you would think, uh, especially for its price range. The car is tuned very well, um, especially for daily driving and the way the suspension is set up is a really sweet spot and I am appreciating the softer setup now because on uneven roads it's still so comfortable. So I've already touched on the power of this car on the track but now let's talk about range. So this car has on paper a range of about 520 kilometers. For a Singapore context that is plenty you know if you were to own this car you probably wouldn't have to charge it after uh, a few days um, just because the range is pretty great. So the BYD CU adopts the ocean aesthetics uh, design language. Personally I think that is a pretty good looking design. It's very modern and it's quite a head turner as well because uh, when I was driving this around the city uh, I noticed that a lot of people were looking at this car. Um, they looked curious but at the same time they looked like they approved of the design so that's always a good sign. It's a great place to be in this cabin. Um, it's very comfortable, ride quality is really good. Uh, there's no creaks, there's no rattling in the interior. Everything just feels very high quality. There is leather everywhere uh, with very nice Alcantara and you even have a DIN audio system. There is no learning curve. You get in and you pretty much can figure out everything that you need. So now that I've talked about how this car fares on public roads, its design language as well as its interior quality, let's head back to the track and I'll share my final thoughts.
So the BYD SU was designed to redefine the driving experience that most people associate with Chinese car makers. And I think that they have really done so. I think both the driver and even the passenger would be very happy to be in the BYD SU.